hello and welcome slogan i'm really excited to welcome you on my podcast with me and my audiences are going to and i'm sure they must be waiting for a podcast something like this because so many of my audiences are aspiring coaches wanna be coaches or even they are doing their coaching successfully so that's the reason why i'm talking to you because your background has been amazing and you have been helping so many coaches especially to get their clients dream clients along with the money that they would expect for the effort that they are putting in so slogan um, thank you for joining us and uh, i really want to know that you share your background your study and your <clears throat> excuse me for the voice yeah your background and your study for the market that which you are in the work that you do for for me coaches right thank you first of all i w- i would really appreciate uh everything that you have done till now for all the people uh, including uh, the one that i knew which is uh, you know uh, the, the morning sessions that you magnificent mornings that you do which is fantastic it, even i i looked at your ads at a point in time and i saw so many good comments and i you know wish some way or the other we could get connected at that point in time i'm i'm uh, i appreciate this moment and the you know things that we are doing together and uh, thanks for this uh, because um, at the end of the day even though there is you know good money in the bank there is always this need for us to go out there help a lot of people and this is one way of my my way of you know you you're helping me put my way of helping other people to share what all i have uh, experienced in the last 5 uh, years right. so to answer your question uh, so i i from a middle class family you know so fortunate to get a good job uh mnc uh, uh was a civil engineer transition to from uh, chennai to delhi for the job i didn't know hindi and uh, there was always this uh, you know thing inside me that i wanted to learn something and do something uh good good uh, money with the company lot of privileges you know as a sales person you know we can fly anywhere eat anything a company is uh, you know taking care of things right so that was my situation but there was always this urge uh, from my college Uh, life where i felt like i need to do something more than just settling in a job going to you know getting a car getting married then doing the same thing for my kids uh, so that's where that thought was in and uh, i started reading books uh, in the college also when i started working with this mnc and that's when i figured out oh there's a lot of gem inside these books there's a lot of you know knowledge that you know i i was able to break through a lot of barriers through these books and why not share this with other people that you know who are in my position right that's the thought i had i always wanted to do something that's when i i got to know tony robbins brandon butcher all these you know big folks they were doing really well as trainers and they you know i got into their trainings and uh, train the trainer and i was so excited to start this but my work was there which was taking a lot of time so i uh, chose to quit a, a amazing job and i came back to chennai yeah is there yeah. yeah i came back to chennai and uh, what i decided was have a 9 to 5 you know small job not at the big role small job and uh, do the rest of the work in the weekends and you know on the rest of the day right so i started doing this i started creating my first uh, uh you know course that i had as a live event it was a 3 4 hour live event uh at that point in time i had network of coaches uh, uh you know the trainers in my circle who i got trained from and you know it was all fun uh but when it came to the part of uh, marketing and getting people into the uh, live events no one had a clue and i was like how do you do it i get uh, you know i get people i talk to people i have this network that has built from uh, xyz uh, uh, you know the there is this networking events right that's where i got them and you know that's how i built my business i was like Oh how do I do it I don't have any network so that's when I figured out you know there was Siddha there was Gopal these guys were teaching us how to do um Facebook ads how to do funnels you know uh, so I thought okay let me learn this from them let me learn this from Russell Brunson and put all together it took a while for me to figure out what to click where to put these things and uh, you know it, it it was a big uh, learning curve for me but um, yeah I got few people for my live event I was like running the ads and the same day i got the first sale i was wow i did so much of you know things now i'm i have a system which can get me clients right uh, i was so happy for the first sale it was not a huge ticket size uh, very small but i was so happy that i created the system and um, 
i hosted this event i called in a lot of friends also to have a good crowd uh this uh, this was about passion finding your passion and you know what to do about it after the passion you figured out so people came to the event it was a good event everyone appreciated for sharing those things but it didn't make uh, business sense to me because i spent like say for a lakh on everything and i made only 50000 it's it's like i'm losing money i'm losing my savings it didn't make sense for me that's when you know i started to uh, you know think about what else i could do oh i should have sold another product in the end of the event so that i could make pro- profits so i when i was going through this journey of what i should do in my own uh, business of training and coaching a lot of my uh, circle people in my circle trainers and you know these folks were like slogan how the hell did you do i we did not know you could run facebook ads funnels and get clients how did you do it then i was like okay you do this do that and you know i was i used to say things and they were like slogan i don't understand this and it's it's very complicated for me to even you know spend my time over there and learn this and do it why not do it for us so that's how it started in this industry uh, uh coaching industry so trainers uh, and coaches uh so we adapted a lot of different models after that whatsapp classes workshops webinars high ticket systems uh and it's it's been a quite a quite a lot of journey with a lot of different kind of industries that uh, we have worked with for coaches and and it's been great um so that's that's my background <laughs> Amazing. So you have been working with coaches since when? Like which year? Since 2017, end of 2017. Okay. And so according to you what has been your most amazing part in this profession? Oh, um I would say uh see e- even even though there is this business sense to what all we do, there is this, you know, putting in the numbers and you know getting out a good number, there is something in the background which happens uh and and you cannot put a price tag on it and that's a feeling that i has a agency owner have and and my clients have that makes them feel that okay no matter what is what is what is in or what is out no matter if we make profits or not this feeling is what we are living for right that's the feeling that we have and that feeling is as simple as um them sharing like my clients students sharing with my clients on how did they change their life mm-hmm. you know they were they were in i have case studies of a lot of my client students uh coming back out of a abusive relationship coming back out of a, you know huge financial debts you know coming back out of a you know depression almost on in on the verge of suicide and these the transformations and and what they are doing after getting their transformations in their life is is just beautiful and this is a feeling that i'll 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 actually die with if if at all you know i'm dying today i'm happy that i'm i'm able to impact so many lives through my clients because of the small part of what i play as an agency owner and this is i believe the thing that is that is that is uh, that's that's most connecting to my heart and that's why i do what i do even uh at the at the down times right so i i push myself because you know hey there is someone who could uh change their life because of what i'm going to do uh, today and it's just a ripple effect right so that's what uh, i believe is the best uh part of what i've been doing for the past uh, few years great uh slogan i want to know something about this name experts bio and mm-hmm. your name as well Okay. <laughs> right. Uh slogan is is not my full name. Slogan is the second part of my name. My full name is Punya Slogan. And uh, uh I thought of changing this name when I was in school because I was so different. I don't want to be different. I want to blend into the you know the students that friends I had. Um mm-hmm. at that time I had that feeling but you know I'm thankful to my grandpa. My full name is Punya Slogan and uh the slogan is the part which was so aligned to the marketing as well uh, and uh, it was easy for people to call in my college uh, days so i thought okay slogan is a cool name then when i shifted to sales and marketing specifically uh, it was it was so amazing uh, to to have this name so that's the part of my name and when it comes to experts bio we were like uh, when when we created this company we were like just three people sitting together uh, at that time i had a partner and uh, there was this uh, muttu who was with me from the first initial stages of my company and we were just st- sitting together and uh, we were thinking about who are we helping who are we are helping coaches consultants trainers who are these people called they're experts so what are we helping them with uh, it's it's uh, 
making them build influence online so that they can generate more income out of it and income was just an outcome of building the influence so all that we are focused on is building the you know influence so that's why experts bio uh, that's where uh, it formed <laughs> beautiful beautiful so uh, so when you must have uh, noticed that in pandemic a lot of coaches have emerged so what is your observation on this trend pre covid and post covid right so uh, i would say pre covid there was especially during covid there was a lot of uh, people who were coming into coaching industry thinking that it's a it's a you know career switch that they wanted to do which is over uh, one which is something that i can agree on but it was marketed in a way at that point in time where it is mostly to do with money and mm-hmm. it's still now marketed in a way in in such way but that's not how you can sustain in this business for a very long time and uh, it, it's just that a lot of people thought that okay let me you know learn this create this and you know quit my job and have this as a career it's not by choice that you know choice of money that you can get into this business and sustain for a very long time uh, it's just that at that point in time uh, facebook ads were very favorable to all the people and the timing was perfect because a lot of people were at home and uh, they wanted to learn new things and they just wanted to spend time and they don't know what to do with that so they want to be productive and the ads were really convincing as well um, but uh, the time uh, to uh, There, there was that was the time to have less caliber and make money by uh, you know investing very less amount of money. So that was a good time pre COVID and during the COVID as well. But later on, when when the when the lockdowns go was away and you know people start going to their offices, going out, that's when the number of people who are coming into the uh, webinars or workshops that got reduced and these people were like oh my god i'm not making money i'm making loss this is not the right thing for me maybe i left you know made a mistake for the last couple of years let me go back to the job let me go back to the previous business that i was doing but it's it's uh, you know that's how it has become uh, post uh, covid but it's 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 more to do with you should have taken that you know utilize that time to make money and maybe invest in yourself to kind of uh, build yourself to become the coach who can sustain in the longer run i mean to say skills and you know the business skills and and the you know skills that you have to have as a coach these are the things that you should have invested in to sustain in the long run so i believe that's the difference between what was there uh, pre covid and what was what's still here uh, post covid as well and i mean like when it comes to uh, coaching right we as a coach we'll have to really know how to simplify concept in a way that people understand uh, we have to uh, inspire them to take action it's not just about sharing stories if if that's the case we can start a youtube channel and do that right but it's it's placing the right things at the right place and time so that you know we we understand what what a coach is and you know how we can get results for them is by just inspiring them to take action so that's our goal as a coach that's that's what people had to uh, invest but they didn't do they were enjoying the profits and they you know uh, but there's still a lot of people who did this who invested in themselves who invested in you know uh, making them a better coach and you know, they are sustaining well and they are they're doing well in their uh, business as of now and they're they're happy that not just part of the part of the money but their students are also getting results so it's kind of you know everyone is happy right so right yes coaching industry is like coming up and booming up a lot especially in india thanks yeah. to the western and and thanks to social media effect i would say it is <laughs> pick up here but um, i also when i notice as a coach like as a master coach when i am coaching my other students to you know be a certified coach there they often ask me a question that which niche is more you know better to pick up on or which niche should i start to which i always say that don't be in a hurry to pick up your niche in your early stage because then you are going to you know put yourself in a box and then you will not never come to know if whether you had a chance to go through another niche in coaching say like if you have picked up career coaching what about relationship so both are really relevant for people and mm. tell me one aspect of area where people are not going to find it relevant enough mm. right so according to you what is your observation in india is coaching industry at a very nascent stage is it on a mid stage or is it like really picked up very well i mean uh, yes when you compare it with uh, you know the past 5 years and now it has really picked up 
in a way it's 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 you know it has grown the coaching industry has grown it's because i would say the demand as well uh, we have we have barely scratched the surface it's not to do with if if there is you know more more coaches what's the you know is 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 there you know is there anything that we can do to um, increase the number of people that can come to the coaching programs and stuff like that it's i would say we have barely um, in the in the point where it's it's not just about the coaching industry we, we as a coaching industry trying to change what's on the other end what's on the other end is the educational uh, uh, you know system right so educational system there are like these uh, you know books and the knowledge of these lecturers i'm i'm thankful to them but uh, you know these people are the people who just transfer the knowledge it's mm-hmm. it doesn't have to be relevant to the current market current industry that they wanted to get into i see a lot of doctors specifically they're very skilled they they know how to be a doctor but when it comes to getting a job mm-hmm. when it comes to you know starting their own clinic or hospital they they don't know they really don't know and uh, when i see that as a huge gap in the educational system and the industry right now which is the coaching industry which is growing a lot of people are coming here after going through that you know those those courses from these uh, institutes it's just because they have not learned the thing that is going to help them in their career help them make money uh, help them uh, be better at what they do uh, like say for example doctors right a lot of new technologies a lot of new uh, you know tools and techniques are not taught to them it's just the old uh, you know books old methodology of doing stuff but right now in the coaching industry there are a lot of uh, doctors over here who are actually trying to help people with the new technologies new stuffs new you know whatever is coming up so they are staying on top of the uh, the current uh, market trends right so this is where the foundation is built but then with this foundation they are not able to do anything they are coming back here so it's th- i think it's a revolution that is going to happen when it comes to the coaching industry here the number of people is going going to go a uh, big and then these people would realize okay not a lot of people are signing up as they used to before and the high tickets are going to increase as well here because people like you know you uh, for example if you come up with uh, something which can be uh, 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 not doing an mba and just doing your you know course right maybe 10 lakhs 15 lakhs or 20 lakhs people would love to get in touch with you and you know go through that overall program because yours is a current market trend and you're teaching that to uh, people and here it's the old thing right so you have that knowledge as well because you're from that background and you have the ma- latest mar- market trend and this is how it's going to change the overall industry altogether and it's it's just that you know imagine the number of teachers in the in india right imagine the number of coaches in india right now so it's like you know comparing the sea to the you know maybe a tumbler of uh, a glass of water or or a you know a barrel of water something like that right so it's it's as simple as that so we we are in a very good uh, stage as of now it's just that A, a lot of trend happened in 2020 because of this uh, people coming in and a uh, lot of people were ahead to home it's just that there is a small drop which is happening right now but as a whole when you see it in the next 5 years it's going to grow exponentially rather than um, the the dip that we had uh, right now so that's where i see uh, this market i also notice and you know uh, i've been observing some advertisements that we see on instagram and facebook right, right. Uh, there are two types of coaches that i have that i'm noticing one is mm-hmm. the one of the coaches who want to like start coaching and then gradually they build their brand mm-hmm. and there are some influencers because they were creating content on youtube in the beginning of their you know career and because they have got such a big you know community for them Mm-hmm. now they are selling their courses now they are bringing their courses so mm-hmm. which one you think is a right style of making or being a coach per right. se right so um it it goes uh, see my if if you have to if i have to choose just one way of for everyone new the old people the influencers everyone i would still prefer community building mm-hmm. because it's it's not just for today it's just for forever right when you build a community it's going to be uh, right now today tomorrow and we can build the products according to this what the community demands in this particular niche uh, specifically as you mentioned so um but for new folks right if if you're brand new starting new you don't know about the market you don't know what their pains and problems are i would prefer for them to even run ads 
to build a community know what their pains and problems are then create a product according to whatever skills that you have so that it it's kind of see you if you fit into the kind of requirement that they have right but for people who are already influencers know things and you know they are they are uh, they are very well established already if you know know your audience you know their pain points and stuff like that if you know what they are buying uh, sure go ahead you know learn the skills of becoming a you know a coach as well to to sell the, your products and programs and then you know actually sell it but for both of these people i would recommend relying on your community rather than any other traffic sources because if something goes up like if shut facebook shut downs instagram shut downs tomorrow you're going to go into uh, you know in a stage where you're not going to make money if if youtube same thing happens for youtube or tiktok or whatever it is right so you always have to build this community where it can be an email list where it can be your own platform or app but you you need to have this you need to engage with these people and see what you can help them with that you are learning at that point in time which can help you help them right so